peace and love to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, and to all the fellow king gods out there who see the god in me. I see you. I love you. This video right here just further underlines my statement and my point is that the Dark Ages is approaching. All these countries, all these races of people that have been genetically modified by this entity that crashed in on this, on this planet and cannot leave are going back under ice. Point blank and simple. This guy that I'm going to play at the end of this video, his name of his channel is Adapt2030. He, he breaks down how the government uh nasa all of them are lying and covering up the information as far as how the weather is you may think it's warm outside but it's not warm come on it was fucking august and i was wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants you know it's cold outside this is not normal you understand you search coronal holes on the sun the sun is uh turning black the sun is going into a renaissance period the sun is going to be favorable to us only us infinite light beings for the next 2000 plus odd years point blank and simple they are going to back into the cold for the treachery that they have done to our grandmother and to mother earth point blank and simple you have switched her god from a female to a male you have made her train her children to be passive and to take whatever you hand out to us but now it has come to an end you will not get away with this treachery my brothers and sisters my fellow king gods the beautiful, lovely queen goddesses out here, as well as the star seeds out here. I hope you enjoy this video. Peace and love. I see you and I love you. Good afternoon, everyone. Article out, David Hathaway, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Many ice age just four years away. And with that, there's a 96% statistical possibility of increased volcanism and earthquakes. The cooling of South America, oceans and land. And the sea ice is gaining back, contrary to what they're talking about in the news. Global temperatures falling, temperature change over land, drop off a cliff. Antarctica cooling slightly. England temperatures from 1772 definitely not rising as predicted with the IPCC. Snow cover at record highs. Now we got 20 feet of snow coming to the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. And every time this grand solar minimum rocks around, we get these severe upheavals in society. And please remember to press that subscribe button. Now you know when a solar physicist from NASA comes out and says, the mini ice age is going to hit in four years. And the return of the grand solar minimum is going to affect European and Eastern U.S. winters. We should actually take notice of this. Now indicative of the cold, which always throws off the planting and harvesting times. There's a 96.7 statistical probability that there will be increased volcanism and earthquakes. And there is definitely a link between global volcanic activity and solar activity lows. And you might ask yourself, if we had such drastic effects from El Chichon in 1982 and Mount Pinatubo in 92, which lowered global surface temperatures over half a degree overnight from an eruption, what's going to happen when we're going into a grand solar minimum and we get an eruption like this? Pierce Corbin from Weather Action Now also talking about the huge changes of solar activity and earthquakes due to the reduction of magnetic fields which also has the effect of allowing in more cosmic rays and Heinrich Benzmark the cloud mystery explain how cosmic rays form more clouds which create more precipitation keep in mind whenever a grand solar minimum comes there's a global extent to it from England to Japan to the Russian Empire to the Saharan Desert which we just saw snow in North and South America and New Zealand summer snow. It's a global event and it's a harbinger of lost food production. Little Ice Age Brian Fagan also details how Europe was so greatly affected in the civil wars and the famines and the disease and the plagues. This all comes as a package. And if you think you're going to run to South America and be safe, guess again. Little Ice Age recorded 
Kilkea Ice Cap Worldwide Event. These are the temperature anomalies associated with South America when we get into the Grand Solar Minimum. A bit wider out here for you, but you can see the drastic fluctuations, not only precipitation, but temperature. And then another paper, Cooling of the Southern High Latitudes in the Medieval Period, focuses on this area at the very tip of South America along the Chilean coast. What they found was the collapse of empires across South America related to these weather events as well. So if it's going to go into a mega drought again, and these cities in Chile and Peru are already having a very difficult time with water, what's going to happen while the water actually turns off from nature there? They're going to have to abandon the cities. We're going to find those same cities in four or five hundred years again. And this report just details the rise and the fall of ancient Peruvian cultures with these climate change events. Sea surface temperatures also dropped during this time. They found different photoplankton. Fish migrations are affected. And then when we get up into the Caribbean and around northern Venezuela, also you see precipitation amounts vary greatly during these times of grand solar minimum influence. If you think southern Africa is going to be safe and you can run down there, Looking at heavier summer rainfall, but drier conditions, drought even all the way up into Zimbabwe. We're starting to see that same pattern, although that's a La Nina effect. Is it grand solar minimum or is it La Nina with the drought in southern Africa now? Soon to find out. Sea ice extent increasing, contrary to what the news had to believe that it was a fallout event into the lowest ice ever right now. Clearly not. DMI chart for you, link below. We've been told Antarctica's melting. It's not. Temperature's dropping. So why would they lie about that? Mean central UK temperatures from 1772. If it was really going to be to this all-out warming, how's that dropping into the 2015-16 year? UK mean temperatures between winter and summer. If we're going to be getting into this runaway warming, why is it definitely within the statistical average and even trending toward the cooler side of everything? And then we get record snow cover, the second highest value in 50 years. The only time before that was 1976, and these records go back into the 1890s. We're pushing 100-year-plus snow records in the northern hemisphere. Nice glimpse here. December 2015 compared to December 2016. Press the pause button, take a look around the chart and where you see the differences. Also these massive snowstorms just rolling over the Sierra Nevadas, looking at 20 feet in this storm, just 10 feet over the last two days. Squaw Valley, Ski Patrol sent this one in on Twitter, four and a half feet in the morning and it dumped another three feet since that image was taken. Insane rain amounts across the deserts of Australia. Five times more rain than the 116-year record. Plus, just last week, all-time record rain in Alice Springs, which matches up with the grand solar minimum temperature reconstruction. All the while, the IPCC still running with their ridiculous warming models observations are actually in the green squares and blue balloon data sets and the news releases across the planet will have you believe that we have warmed 1.5 C since the satellite era but it's actually only 0 0.3 that 1.5 extends back to 1840 coming forward but now that's not even anywhere close to 1.5 it's down 1.2 or so and decreasing which it will with La Nina and the grand solar minimum taking us back under zero again. We got six major sources of temperature data and for such a precise science I don't see how they are not matching. We were told last year within a hundredth of a degree we broke the Earth's hottest temperature yet they can't even match up the temperatures through six different data sets here with six different satellite feeds from universities and research institutions. 
2016 indistinguishably warmer from 1998, which means equivalent. And John Casey was calling out that we were going to start crashing in temperatures at the end of the year, and we are right on the mark. He's calling that we're going under 25 sunspots for this next cycle, which takes us into the grand solar minimum. And when you look at ocean temperatures versus land temperatures, how can you get such a steep, off-the-cliff drop-off on land? Climate Change Institute showing downtrend for 2016. We see the butterfly sunspot average matching back up into the 1880s. This is going to decrease further back into the 1700s in this next solar cycle. And I will bring it to you again. Every grand solar minimum, the Chinese dynasties collapsed, as well as the Anchor Empire. The Burmese Thai Wars were fought during those same times over land and resources. And then we come in here and severe frost is going to damage Ukraine's winter. We're looking at decreased land temperatures. Argentina repeating the same grand solar minimum pattern with exceptional rains and floods during that time. Being repeated. Farmland at risk of flooding. That happened the exact same thing last year. And I encourage you to dig in and do some of your own researching because we are all in this together. There is nowhere to run. This is a global event and it has started and it's going to occur years faster than anticipated. I was putting it out, the cold at 2023, 2024, and this new report comes out and says it's going to get here at 2020, 2021. That gives us three less years to prepare. And the IPCC, preventing people from putting out information suppression of different feeds across social media and not ah, it's just sickening the amount of deception going on to keep this information from you it's meant to depopulate this planet it's the only possible reason you can take that for what you think it's worth but of the amount of research and thousands of hours and hundreds of videos I've done that's the only conclusion I can really come to right now and if you go to iceagenow.info and look just in the last four days, there are so many anomalies that are so unexplainable. I can't even keep up with it, and it's nearly impossible to even try to synthesize that information and make something out of it. Smash cold records, tens of thousands deep. Smash snow records, thousands deep. Snowing in the middle of summer in New Zealand. Record cold in France. And snowing in Athens and just record snows across Greece and record cold in Italy and, and snow across the Sahara Desert and snows down in Saudi Arabia and just record cold across all of Eurasia. It's insane right now what's going on. It's actually intensifying far faster than I ever anticipated. And you know what? We're all going to need to find a solution for this together. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.